Tonight was really interesting. I think it was really different to what I'd expect from a usual live event, firstly, because there's an audience there. And it, it took a while for me to get it in that I'd, I'd see somebody go and do an amazing set, you know, Roma did a, a wicked poem, for example, and I'm expecting the crowd to be roaring and clapping their hands and stomping the feet and clicking the fingers. And it just didn't happen. It's like, oh, okay. I, I, it, it took probably halfway through the first section for me to get, you're not gonna get the round of applause, Reese, because people aren't here live, but then on the other end of that, there's something beautiful in that there's infinite possibilities in terms of who could be watching where they are. And I think there's something really powerful about telepresence in that people that can't come to you, you can go to them where you are. And I think, yeah, that's a really way to keep the city connected, basically. Um, I think it was interesting um, doing a live performance because I've been doing sort of online live performances videoed from my room for a couple of weeks <laughs> and this felt really different because actually walking into the space felt like kind of like a haunted theatre <laughs> like not seeing loads of people coming in and out of the theatre felt kind of strange but um, I felt quite comfortable on the stage and having Reese there was really lovely I think not having an audience makes you feel kind of like the stakes aren't as high you have to imagine that for yourself and imagine other faces so yeah not too different Performing to a live stream uh, is a bit weird because obviously the audience is there and I think most performers will agree that you and get you, you buzz off the energy of an audience and you know you can tell when gigs are going bad and going good and you put there you're sort of always questioning yourself as to what it's like outside because there's no way of knowing if it's gone well until you've gotten the social media afterwards um but i've performed to camera before so i you know i've a little bit of experience but it is nothing compared to doing a live gig with human beings whether they are two meters apart or not <laughs> so performing live live streamed as opposed to in front of a live audience was strange. Um, I'm really appreciative to all the technicians and people who were in the room just trying to make me feel kind of uh, validated. <laughs> um, and the, there is that sense of like, I know that I'm speaking to someone, so I still try to like push out, but I suppose to not have that energy come back to you does feel very strange. It was almost quite like draining. It was a bit like performing in a vacuum. Um, yeah, that's the best way to describe it. A live stream performance is weird. Um, so, earlier, I was watching a video of a guy talking about everything that's going on right now, and he just pointed out, listen, bro, you gotta realize, I'm talking to a phone right now. <laughs> like, I'm looking at myself in a phone and talking to a phone right now while I'm munching on his cereal. And, you know, that just made me think of all the YouTubers that, you know, they're going crazy and they're doing, and they're so, it's almost like they're interacting with you, but the reality of the situation is, they're just talking to a camera. <laughs> Like, they're not looking at you, they're talking to a camera. They should be given more credit for that because that was different. That's, it's not the same talking to a camera as it is with a whole audience because you can gauge whether or not you know, you're doing the right things or whether or not you're actually speaking to people or whether or not people are paying attention to you. You can gauge that with an audience, but when the camera's there, it's just, it's gone. It's just you and you gotta figure out how to keep the energy up and, and you know, pay attention and get people to pay attention I, I, I have no idea how any of that came across but usually when I've done a performance with people watching and whatnot I'll have some idea of whether or not they liked it or were listening to me or you know but yeah so it, it's kind of um it's nerve-wracking but I like it quite a lot in a really really good way uh, so so how was it for me a live stream performance uh, performing in a, an empty theater just a five or six techies in the room. I really enjoyed it. It's a muscle I haven't had a chance to flex for two or three months now, so I, I enjoyed that. Um, it was a little bit odd. Um, you're looking for some energy in the room to, to feed off, but I tried to, to work with the cameras. As a performance poet, you're looking for applause at the end of the, of the poems, uh, and they went there, but Reese uh, was uh, giving a one-man clap, and he was throwing a fish at one point, but that was good. Uh, I, I enjoyed trying to shine some light on the, onto uh, these dark times, and I'm really grateful that it's happened. Thank you to the to all the tech people here. Thank you to the Met. Thank you to United We Stream, to Sasha, to Andy Bird, and to everyone who's made this happen. It's been, been a fantastic thing for Berry, for Manchester, for the artistic community here. Please donate if you can. Thank you. Um, so I found performing in a live stream situation very different to the usual um, 
having a crowd and audience, but I've also done a couple of um, performances where I've literally just been online, like in my room on the internet by myself. Um, so it was quite nice to be doing a performance where I'm actually at a venue um, and actually seeing a couple of other people. So yeah, different but good. Yeah. Comparing a live performance, like live stream performance, in comparison to a normal one where you've got an audience, it's weird, man, it's weird. You can't, like, usually you've got the audience to gauge with and everyone's looking at you, so you can say, right, do I need high energy? Do I need low energy? Should I reel them in? Should I, you know, take them here? Should I take them there? But with this one, you're kind of just going off your own feet. I was, I was finishing the poem and then I could just hear Reese like, yeah, fire, fire. But I was just like, yeah, Reese has got to say fire, he's my friend. Um, so yeah, it was quite, it was quite weird, but I, I enjoyed it. I found the online live experience of the performing. Um, it's interesting for me in quite a few ways. I've got body dysmorphia, um, and contacts are aware of it. Uh, Reese is aware of it. Um, I have to manage it in certain ways. It's more difficult for me to see re replicated visions of myself as opposed to doing the gig. But essentially, yeah, the main thing. Um, it's just refocusing yourself on one tiny spot as opposed to, you know, your entire audience and trying to make eye contact and moving around. Um, but yeah, it, it was alright. It's, it's, I'm hoping it's not the future, um, but I don't mind it being part of the future. I think it's been really, I've got some friends in like Paris and other places and around the world and they've been finally getting into the British poetry scene because of this. So there's a nice thing to it in that respect and there's a lot of people who kind of... Um, couldn't get the accessibility to come to the gigs, who are now can sit at home and come to the gig. So I think if we can maintain some of it, um, I think it'd be really useful, I think it'd be really nice to know that it's more inclusive and that people can come for that reason. How did I find doing the live stream performance? It was really interesting because there was no crowd to kind of play to, and your, your crowd is hopefully at home you know, getting drunk in the garden, watching you on your phone. So I had to think about how to make it a little bit smaller and more direct. Because when you're on stage and you've got a few hundred people in front of you, you've got, you know, you, you're giving out an energy. And they're also giving you an energy. So it was really odd. <laughs> and I was really relieved when Reese kind of applauded for me because it was like, oh, I'm used to, used to a bit of applause. <laughs> But it's, it's quite it's, it, it was it was good. It felt relaxed because you you all know what you're doing as well. So I didn't have to think about anything. I just had to turn up really and knock my poems out to you.